Hi, I'm Mike, and today we get to wrap up a huge project, cross it off the board as we finish up the AeroQuip Corral system. But more importantly, we're gonna get a chance to test it with some of the most ruthless, unmanageable creatures on the ranch. It's all coming up today on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to right where we left off yesterday on the AeroQuip Corral system. I'm gonna get out of the wind here because apparently uh, tropical storm, who's a what's it, that's affecting everybody from Colorado to Montana is making the wind blow like 30 or 40 miles an hour out there today. And that does throw a little bit of a wrench in our plans, but we'll make do. The plan is today to finish getting up the rest of the panels. I have 15 panels, roughly 150 feet of fence left to do, a couple gates, a little bit of this and that to get this whole thing done and get the entire AeroQuip system up and running. Then we're gonna take a look and show you how it works by running a few critters through it. I did have a great phone call this morning with the folks from AeroQuip in which they uh, they, they actually asked me my opinion so far, um, what I would change, and I, and I gave them a few ideas and hopefully those will be implemented uh, before this thing actually rolls out into uh, widespread production. The AeroQuip Corral and handling facility is actually a new thing from AeroQuip. AeroQuip was based in Australia, it was started in Australia. And for the past few years in Australia, they've actually offered, I don't even know how long, they have had this corral system, something like it, uh, for sale in Australia. This is the first year that it's actually been available in the United States and North America. So we're actually on the forefront and helping to develop the procedures, the instructions, everything else uh, that has to do with this system. I think there are like five of them out there that are uh, in testing. One is at Texas uh, a and I don't know where the other ones are, but I know one is sitting here too. So that's very cool that AeroQuip decided to involve us in that. I had a great phone call, like I said, with them this morning, and hopefully we can be involved in more of the testing and, uh, and the way that this whole entire thing works to make it easier for people that do end up with it in the future. So we are going to finish up with the rest of these panels. Uh, we are going to run some uh, critters through and see how it works. But uh, for now, I get to tune out. What was the old uh, What was the old MTV saying? It was like turn up and tune out or something like that. Well, that's what we're going to do right now. Turn it up and tune it out. I think that's what it was. I'm going to try to tune out the wind. That's where you can find me 
And there we go. The last pin is in. A little bit of straightening to do. But other than that, clean up. Uh, what's the next step? Planting grass. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff still left to do. But yeah, congratulate me. Thank you very much, Rooster. We have every single panel is now in place. A hundred and some odd panels. I don't know how many there were, a lot. I think I said I had 15 left to do. It turned out I had like 26 because I found another bundle. And we are done. If you're looking for a video that's all about putting together the AeroQuip uh, corral system, we're gonna have that coming up in the next couple weeks for you. Basically a beginning to end uh, for those that are really interested in the system. But one of the things that uh, it still baffles some people is how this whole thing works. And we're gonna show you how it works right now. But first, we need a few critters. And I think I hear them coming now. in here <laughs> no you guys oh you don't escape too oh no they're all escaping uh oh this one's gonna charge me oh Button your heads. One comes through. Oh, close it on that one. Those two are stuck. Need some daylight. There she goes. Hi, cow. <laughs> okay, you're all done. See you later. Here comes the other one. Oh no, Lincoln, you get stuck. Oh no, he's kind of halfway in and halfway out. Oops. Hi, Grace. Ready to go? And out she goes. Go hang out with her friend. Little baby cow. Get up there, baby cow. Oh. How's it going? I'm good. All right. You ready to go? Yeah. And go. So if you, uh, obviously if you can't uh, get in to hang out with the kids and your family while you're working, especially when you work from home, you bring them out to, to play with you. Those are some pretty cool horns you got there. What are you doing? Hula hooping? Hula, I don't know what you're doing. Hula bowling. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, that kind of gives you an idea of how it works, but the real test is coming up here in just a couple weeks as we get ready to brand all of the calves. We're gonna be bringing them through. Uh, they weigh a lot more than these guys, but uh, gonna you're gonna help. We're gonna bring them in 
and uh, that's going to be the first major test of the AeroQuip system. I am so excited that it is up, that it's ready to go. There's nothing like completing a project, especially a big project like this. Uh, thousands of pounds of steel, uh, lots of lots of uh, sweat and lots of blood. Actually, uh, somebody asked if they could uh, see my hands. Uh, at the end of the day, and see what my hands look like. At the end of the day, it's it's not even the end of the day. I still have a lot of lot of lot of work to do. But there's there's what they look like uh, today. So that gives you an idea of the amount of work, the blood, the sweat, the tears. Uh, maybe not tears. Maybe I cried. A little bit a couple times but uh, thank you very much guys for hanging out with me throughout all this we do have a video coming up that's going to take you from beginning to end that's more of a educational type video about the AeroQuip and and what all goes into uh, the, the from the beginning all the way to the end so thank you guys for being my bulls and my cows Lincoln thank you thank you for being my bull thank you bud and you're my you're one of my cows and you're one of my cows Grace and Mackenzie, thank you guys. Uh, we'll see you next time, tomorrow, actually, as we continue our vlogs here on Our Wyoming Life. What are we going to do tomorrow, Kens? Stuff. Stuff. We'll figure it out. Hopefully the wind won't be blowing either. A kid video, we figure it out. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Our Wyoming Life. <laughs>